In this episode of Remote Calculus, we'll be looking at the idea of being able to build a solid of revolution out of a piecewise function. Here we have our little snowman, and it was formed by two parabolas and two horizontal lines revolved around the x-axis. So I could find the volume of each section and add those sections. For each section, because we're revolving around the x-axis, the radius of the disks is the height of the function. Remember what we're doing is we are imagining adding the volume of a bunch of disks. So the volume of a disk is the area of this circle times the thickness. So the radii of our circles change as the height of the function changes. So here we have our four different sections and we have pi times the function squared because that's giving us the area of the circles of the disks and then dx is representing the thickness of the disks. The first section goes from 0 to 2 so I'm integrating from 0 to 2. The second section goes from 2 to 3.5 so I'm integrating from 2 to 3.5 then this little horizontal line that's creating the brim of the hat goes from 3.5 to 4 and then the top of the hat goes from 4 to 5 and the y value was a horizontal 0.75. These two functions are fairly straightforward to work out. You do need to be a little careful when you're squaring the parabola. You're foiling that out where this is the first term in the binomial and that's the second term in the binomial. So I get 25 sixteenths times x minus 1 to the fourth power because I'm squaring the square. Then I have two of these terms from minus 1.25 times 1.5 and two times 1.5 times negative 1.25 is negative 15 fourths. And then when you foil the last terms you get one and a half times one and a half which is 3 halves times 3 halves is 9 fourths. So that's how you want to approach working this one out by hand, is you want to foil this out, and now you have power rule, power rule, technically power rule. So I add 1 to the powers, divide by the new power, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. The antiderivative of a constant is that constant times x. My upper and lower limits were 2 and 0. If I replace 2, I get a difference of 1, so 1 to the 5th times 5 sixteenths, 1 to the 3rd times negative 5 fourths, and then I have 9 fourths times 2, and then you subtract the lower limit plugged in, so when I plug 0 in, this becomes negative 1, that becomes negative 1, this becomes 0, and when I raise to the 5th power, I will get a negative 1, and a negative times a negative makes that positive. Here, negative 1 cubed is negative, so that's that term, and then that term was 0. So we end up getting 21 eighths times pi, or approximately 8.24. The second part of the snowman was the same type of function, so there really is no new math in it, um, but you're foiling out a different parabola. So when you foil out this parabola, you get x minus 3 to the 4th minus 5 halves x minus 3 squared plus 25 sixteenths. And once again, I can do power rule, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and then 25 sixteenths has an antiderivative of 25 sixteenths times x. And the that part of the snowman, the head, went from 2 to 3.5, so my upper limit is 3.5. Plugging it in, 3.5 minus 3 is a half. And then when I plug 2 in, I get negative 1. And that section turns out to have a volume of 5.066 cubic inches. And then the two parts of the hat um, you can actually work out the integrals. Um, you one, one and a half squared is just going to be a constant. So the antiderivative of a constant is that constant times x. And the limits were from 4 to 3 and a half. If I subtract 4 minus 3 and a half, 
because I'm plugging four in and then I'm plugging three and a half in, um, I get a difference of a half. And so the brim of the hat has volume 3.534 cubic inches. Notice I also could just look at the brim of the hat and notice it itself is a cylinder, kind of like the hockey puck. And the radius of it was one and a half and the height of it was a half. And so I could just plug in pi times radius squared times height and get the same answer. And then the top of the hat, same thing, it's just a little cylinder, so you really could look at it as pi times radius squared times the height, which was one inch, and you get an additional 1.767 cubic inches. So adding all of those parts together, we get a total volume of the snowman at 18.614 cubic inches.